Welcome to Curse of the Crimson Stone. Does anybody watch these videos, actually, other than Summer when she's not here? Summer, you watched the last video, right? Hey, I sure did. Everybody go to one or two hero points, depending on your webcam situation there, boys and girls. Let me see how many views this last video has. Because I, I want to see. Oops. I want to see. 11? Wow. 11 people watched it? I'm surprised. Was that like five of those with Summer skimming back and forth? This no. is the part where Elijah leaves. Oh my god, I gotta rewind it. <laughs> that part was whew, that part was good, but it was it was rough. I was hanging in there. What was your I wanted to scream. In the last session. Uh, Why did you want to? Scream? What'd you say? Well, yeah. What What was your favorite? Because she was like that. That man does not understand subtlety, and he also doesn't understand explicit explicit wants and desires. Trudy, I couldn't have been more clear. And he just was like, oh, yeah, this is complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn it, Elijah. <laughs> we were hey, all, all worked out. at the edge of our seats. All worked out. <laughs> <laughs> like, just kiss her, you idiot. Think, and we got there. I think, I think <laughs> the, the part that didn't show up in the video, which was sad because everybody's speaking fucking Dwarvish, was there was a side <laughs> bet going on about who would kiss who. And I think uh, I thought as a DM, okay. people would read. Not a, not on my stream. I tried view. to. Not on my stream. Yeah. Not on my stream view. But um, that's stupid. Yeah, not on my recording view. But that's fine. It's fine. Yeah, I I can read it. Not my recording. So, but it's okay. Um. So, has everybody done this here? Oh, part? and then yeah. Uh. Uh. Um. Aid. No. Caden. Caden got something fever boogie fever or whatever. Fever. You know Rock what? Fever. Hey, Yava. When was the last? When did you watch this video? Oh, sh last week. Okay, I was like, going to say, can Sunday. you do a recap for me? And then maybe maybe I'll I could do, do like a highlight. <laughs> I don't know that I could do a recap. Somebody else. No, I got to test you whether you watched the video or not, which you obviously <sighs> know, you know. Just do the recap for me and get a hair point. Go for it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, okay, so they cleared that dungeon that Yava screwed up and complained about it. And then, I don't, I, what did you guys do next? Uh, well, do you remember There was another me? dungeon. There was another dungeon. Uh, hang on. Pablo, this was a week ago, and I wasn't even there. Do you remember me? You already forgot about me? What I was know, my yes. name? The average okay. head. The big, okay. The big, the big, the big goopy guy. Yep. Then we did a total make him wants run? to kill badly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. No, nope, I'm blanking on that. You blanked out on Cabbage Head, the big, big weird guy that they need, did a makeover on. Did you just skip that part? You I didn't it? think so, but I must have. Wow. Because I have zero memory of Let that. Let me show you his picture. This beautiful man. Loading. Okay. No. Yeah. That I recognize. I don't. I don't know what you guys are talking about, though. I must have been. Not we, we, talk, we we talked we talked our way through that. Really, yeah, Elijah okay. talked our way through Rescued that. Rescued some prisoners, then you went okay. through a tunnel, and then there's the whole Trinia Elijah love story culmination. Yada yada. Mm -hmm. Um. Then you came back. Then he left, and then it was just the three. Was it three or four? Three of them. It was. Because I was gone. Yeah, it was the four. It was the four. The four of them. Okay, the yeah. the four. Okay, so then the four of them went back to look for Rolf, and then they encountered another uh, that monster thing with the mm -hmm. with the fever, mm -hmm. and they were in that like super tiny room, right? And that was really bad for strategy. Am I remembering that correctly? Wow, just calling us out, even though you're not here, just be like, yeah. What? Yeah, they just had <laughs> bad strategy while I was gone. Chris's <laughs> I mean, positioning was impeccable the entire fight. Okay. All right. Uh, and then they defeated that thing, but Caden still had the fever, and then they bumped into Isabella, and that was quite the funny uh, introduction between... Uh, Durgan and Isabella, and then Isabella couldn't heal Caden, but like grew an apple tree or something. I kind of missed that part. 
Uh, and then you guys discussed a bunch of mechanics. And then I think uh, Alex coughed and said that she was a druid. Let everybody know that Isabella is a druid, correct? She is a druid, yeah. Great. I think Matt and was then... just freaking out because he thought I'd made another kineticist. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Kineticist, yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's all I remember. That's, that's, that's the show. You guys ended uh, again. Go ahead and get a hero point, uh, Yava. Dragon, go to one as well. Mayday, why are you at zero hero points? You're a good girl. Give you a three. Maximum hero points for Mayday. There you go. Right. She can't really use them, but you know. Just, yeah. Yeah. Um, we left off right as Isabel kind of looked at Caden and mentioned that, you know, she can't do anything for them now, but, but is there a place she could do that? Isabel? Uh, yeah, I still don't have a voice for Isabel. I'm trying to work on that. Mm. <laughs> uh, yes, we can. I, I have this little surgery, a clinic just off uh, Hillcrest Street, but as I said, he needs, he needs at least eight hours for me to properly cure him of this ailment. Um, other than that, uh, well, I came here looking for some ingredients, and she kind of holds up that basket again. And um, I don't know any anything of use that might be might be around here. I still find it weird that you're down here, suddenly finding us, getting past that car patch thing. Well, I see the the thing with fungi is I like to grow in some dark, damp kind of places. This is perfect for them. Places that you really can't get out uh, out in the open. I feel it's a little dangerous. I. I wasn't quite expecting whatever that big, beautiful creature was, but, you know, it's, um, I'd manage to survive. Hayden, I'm assuming you're moving out of the stinky care and golden room, yes? I'm trying to, but okay, my guy's not. Okay. I don't really know anything about this uh, fever. Is it a priority to get you healed, or do we continue trying to find Rolf? Does anybody know about it? Like, did anybody roll that medicine check last time? I think we did. I right? did and yeah. failed. Isabel did. Yeah, I did. Did I not reveal the Carrion Golems kind of thing here? I think I, I did. Right? did. It was filthy. Yeah. 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 yeah, it's filthy. It's, uh, you know. You mentioned that another, uh, yeah, go ahead. It's go. eventually it can be, it can be fatal, but it, I think the next stage doesn't happen for another day. Yeah, that's the um so right now he's on stage two. Uh after which he'll be on either stage three or one and diseases suck because you can keep bouncing off between stages or you could just die. Like syphilis. Mm. All right. A famously a disease, yeah. I <laughs> but it has stages that you can bounce. I you know. don't know. I wouldn't bounce know. Bounce between. It's a stage transmitted disease. That's what that stands for, right? <laughs> STD. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Um, yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. Well, we have to go and find the damn necromancer and find Gaidron. <laughs> I suspect that if we attempt to do something rational, like heal our friend before we've resolved all of this, Durgan might actually explode. <laughs> I'm just, I'm afraid that we're going to lose Rolf and that boy's body. And I don't know. The do we have boy's... eight hours? A boy's body? Kind of um, winces a little bit, kind of ooh, shake we're... it a little recovering a body to return to his family and so uh, it seems very time sensitive oh 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 i see um i didn't think there'd be anything like that down here um but um, i i'm happy to lend assistance i can at least keep your friend upright whilst you do this if time is of the essence well Caden, it's your it's your wife What do you think? We can't let him go. 
That's the man. And I'm not missing my opportunity again. Oh, okay. You're 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 you were awfully quiet for a while there. I thought maybe you'd already died, but I guess we're good. <laughs> I need, like, He's contemplating. I need the Batman theme music just when he, when mm. he said that, you know? Just whatever that is. Um, well, you guys have a couple of options. Uh, start off with uh, some um, some exploration activities here, guys. Yava, no magic. magic no magic. Isabel, you are scouting. No. That's somebody else scouting for you. What are you doing, Isabel? No, I I am scouting. Oh, you're scouting sorry. Covered. I need to. Yeah, I wanted. I I thought I might as well. Let me put. Everyone that. else seems to have bases covered. Yep. Uh, how did somebody got the scouting automation done to everybody once? Is that because of? Maybe it's under. Oh. Let me let me see real quick. Sorry. Isabel, active. There we go. If I put scouting on you, yes, it gives scouting. Nice. There perfect. we go. Beautiful. Perfect. All right. Uh, Dark and Secret Perception. And Prez is defending. Defending. Hey, Durgan, you notice a small crack on the wall to the north. Oh, guys. The stones are telling me something. There's a pathway over here, I believe. Look. That's very astute of you, uh, Durgan. Well, of course I will know so things. I'm a dwarf. I live on the ground. I mean, I didn't want to make assumptions like that, but yes, it's true. Well, is it a wide enough open opening for someone to go through? Can Durgan squeeze through? Absolutely. You can rip, like, rip the little crack away, revealing it he, seems yeah, to be Yeah, he begins to use the blunt inside the dagger, like the pummel, and mm -hmm. begins to smash them away. It's, you don't have to necessarily smash it, but you smash it anyway, it's fine. Oh, uh, yeah, smash, yeah, smash it, it anyway. Pummel them. And then you see another, uh, well, another kind of secret niche on the wall that would lead to another uh, <laughs> Area, if you wanted to move yourselves forward, you are welcome to. Quiet and follow me. All right. Uh, Caden, do you want maybe me to take in be in second place? Ah, oh, sorry, I'm just trying to rush. Sorry, go ahead. He looks around for any trash. Did Caden because... get his wounded removed? Did he get healed? <laughs> Uh, I think that, that I think that it I think, failed. Yeah, I think I tried, oh, wow. and also Durgan tried. I think we both failed, if I remember correctly. Yeah, well, can I take a push in though? Good luck. No, you got to heal up to you. Got, to get rid of wounded, you either have to be at full health or have treat wounds on you, basically. And you have oh. neither. Yeah, because the treat wounds failed. So you, you got another. Yeah. You got another. What? What is it? Tw Thirty-five minutes before you can attempt again. Just try not to die in the meantime, Caden. Yeah. <laughs> try so, real hard uh, Durgan, I'll, I'll you try my hardest you see what seems to be two wide freestanding bookshelves furnishing this room the shelves are filled row upon row of carefully arranged tomes he looks around if there's any traps using that secret perception check you rolled earlier actually roll me a new one roll me a public perception check because it's fun but it's, it's roll, it's roll a public one could be Which dicey. Some thing. of those books do have words that might be dangerous to people. Uh, a small library, perhaps. <laughs> Not sure what kind of documents it could be. Words contain knowledge, and knowledge does contain power, and power does corrupt. I need to know, do I see the store here? You do see the store, you also see a bunch of books. He will listen to the door first, because who knows? Okay. Roaming Secret Perception to listen to the door. Anybody interested in any of these books? I will be shortly, but I want to make sure that Durgan doesn't, you know, die. Durgan, Durgan you hear nothing from the other. Do I detect magic? You detect a slight bit of magic from one of the scrolls on the shelf there. 
Okay, I'm going to reach for it. Which one has the magic? Uh, if you double click on the library loot box there, you'll see it. Scroll of command. Probably the scroll of command. Okay. Isabel, oh. yeah. Well, Isabel is kind of just skimming along there. Oh, well, this is this is mighty useful. And she looks at the about plagues, diseases, and other things on on the uh, on the shelf. This is wow. This is hard to come by. Really help with my research. And wow, uh, I take it. It's are you, yours. Are you sure? Take it. It's yours. Thank you. Very, very kind of you. The book about plagues, diseases, and other things, if you ever need to recall knowledge about plagues, diseases, or other things, you get a plus one circumstance bonus to recall knowledge on it if you're reading the book at that moment in time. So, well, see. There's also, it looks like just a whole library full of necromancy books. Mm -hmm. mm, very off-putting, certainly. We don't want to leave them here for the next person to find. They are True. heavy. They are one bulk per book. There's ten books at least. Oof. Well. I don't know what to do. I'll grab one. Yeah, um, right. fortunately I don't have much room to carry things. It's just... My cloak and oh, stuff and... Deal. Give up, Tommy. I have that bloody bag. You have a bag of holding, yeah. Jurgen? Yeah, I do. Spacious pouch. Oh, hell yeah! Stick him in the spacious oh, pouch. Oh, yeah, did we bag. find that last week? Yeah, 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 we did. Yeah, nice. We found a bag of holding. So stick him in the... <clears throat> oh, I got, I got you. I got you. I'll drag him in there. We. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're encumbered. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. That's not possible. No, they're in the, they're in the pouch. They're in the pouch. Wait, I have nine books of necromon necromancy. There's a lot. I, grab one. I said I was going to grab one, but if you're going to put them in the pouch, here you go. <laughs> Wait, are those books or am I reading it wrong? They're books. We should burn these books. No, no. No? We don't burn. I mean, it's dangerous. Necromancy. It's, yeah, it's a book. Of magic. It's also the magic of healing. Mm. This is very true. Evil. No. Even no, still, even if it is dangerous, we can't destroy knowledge. It's, exactly. The knowledge of damn necromancy. I mean, it, as um, Priz, I think it was, said quite astutely, it helps keep you alive, Dogen, so it's not all bad. Uh, well, let's move on. If we find any more books of necromancy, I burned them myself. Wait, I have, I have a question. Isabel? Uh, yes. yes, my dear. I have an elixir of life. Would that help, would that help Caden? Do you know? So, sadly, I don't think so. He is, uh, okay. he is beyond the point of an elixir giving him a certain item bonus to his saving throw. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know how to say that without being too bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, anything will mm. just, he'll just bring it back up again. Um, okay. That's why we need to treat him, and then he can fully heal. Oh, it's yeah. a very nasty affliction. Yeah, Caden cannot drink any potions because he is sickened. Mm -hmm. So, it sucks. Caden, how you feel? How are you feeling right now? How are you acting? Like you, 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 you shrugging it off stoically, or are you just kind of limping? On the inside, he is in pain. Um, trying to hold back, throwing up and. Showing everybody that he's sick. He's trying to stay strong. Mm -hmm. He's like, here, before we I'm go fine. any further, <laughs> roll me intimidation, Caden. I want you, I want you to be, see how, see how well you can pretend. Wouldn't that be performance? How loud? Oh, it's fine. It's tough guy act, right? Tough guy act. Intimidation. Oh. <sighs> That's okay. You look in there. Oh, never mind. If you don't need any help, I won't give you any. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, I was you're just going to, you know, use some divine magic to at least uh, top you up a little bit. Close some of those wounds. Mighty resilient, uh, though. It would be. That would be nice. 
Yeah, why don't you go ahead, Priz? Don't be too proud, Caden. Oh, is that full HP? Get rid of that wood. It oh, it's got to be 10 minutes, but I'm assuming 10 minutes well, will pass. Yeah, if we wait 10 more minutes, I can just regener regenerate that focus point. You wait 10 more minutes in this spoopy library. A lot of. Uh, books. I'm gonna... oh, we're not burning the books. Zero books are being burnt. No. Are you burning the books if I had the chance? Well, we won't give you the chance. Why do you want to burn books? I am fine with books, but necromancy is not fine. Ne necromancy is not what you think it is, Durgan. It's it's just necromancy is just the magic of life and death, un Durgan, understanding Durgan, healing. Durgan, do you pull out one of these books? He takes one book out there, one of necromancy, and puts this book here. The page flops it's an open. Abomination. To a picture of a skeleton being resurrected. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> resurrection magic it does not resurrect it brings the dead back a skeleton with no soul you okay, could but... be expert on being brought back from the dead I, I'm, I'm sorry you hang on hang on hang on you were you brought back from the dead me no what she's, talk talking, she's talking to Priz as uh, Priz mentions that it's okay, Grandpa. I know you're just <laughs> honoring your culture and you're just from a different time. It's fine. Oh, you're calling Grandpa. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm still in my middle age. Okay. Yes, you're, you're spring chicken. Uh, I, I, yes. I was, I was indisposed for a time due to an unfortunate alligator incident. Hmm. I see. Fascinating. I've never met someone who's... Had to go through such an ordeal before. Uh, well, that, I don't what remember it... most of it. Oh, I can tell you on details how it shoot you up, but I don't think you will like that. Did I you remember that part of it, Durgan? <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> I mean the, the parts, the parts between the bite and waking up in the church. It's kind of a blur. So you didn't see, like, Iomade's face or her embrace or she didn't welcome you into paradise? I definitely have a memory of being welcomed. A you sense do. of belonging. The specifics, I don't know. But hmm. it wasn't bad. Well, that's comforting. Fascinating, for sure, but we should probably save this conversation for later. I'm sorry, I derailed you all there. I just... And you know, getting to meet new people and all of that. Ten um, minutes pass. Frizz is refocused. Uh, no bucks anybody can money. actually make a uh, uh, percent perception check on Priz if you wanted to. Okay. Do it publicly, please. Uh, yeah, I mean, you would... When she said it wasn't bad... Uh, you would both hear, you would both realize that she choked back the word all. It wasn't all bad. Uh, Isabel will kind of walk over to you and just put a, a, a hand on your shoulder. Um, well, I can't begin to imagine, but um, you're back and you're here now, right? That's, mm -hmm. that's the comfort and I'm sure time will heal. Time always heals. And back for a reason. A mission. Just Yava will shuffle on her feet awkwardly, like like thinking to reach, and then putting her hand back, and then opening her mouth to say something, and then shutting it, and then just turning and facing Durgan. What? Hey, wait, I thought Elijah had left. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, what? Let's go. What are you you're just standing in front of the door? Well, you're yeah, looking at me. Well, sure, let's talk. Stop talking about the pet. Let's go. Oh. All right. You see. Oh, no. You close the door again? Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there was a corpse. I'll and go when I there. feel like it. Yeah. I know there's another corpse like the normal over there. But listen. I bet 10 gold coins ever arrive when we go there by the necromancer. 
Push in. You just open the door. I'm not taking that butt. Just go. Yeah, you do fun. <laughs> you see the nauseating mixture of decay and chemicals fills the air of this large room. Glinty uh, saw... Oh. Uh, Priz is going to, uh, once the door is open, dart in front of Durgan, and Mayday is faster than Glinting Durgan, so. saws, Oi. peer, long stitching needles, and other surgical equipment are organized on the shelves and benches along the walls. A sturdy wooden table in the center of the room supports a large humanoid shape of a thing stitched together from a patchwork of dozens of different bodies. This seems to be another work in progress carrion golem. Um, it's nearly complete, and the head stitched to the body is strangely small for its massive frame. A head crowned with brown hair and a bearing a distinctive scar upon its left cheek. Oh, gosh. Oh, heavens, that's... Oh, it's grotesque. My Let's goodness. The body. We... What is it with you and burning things, Satan? <laughs> I just don't want to be ambushed by the diamond did. I mean, sure, but this is... These are people. I mean, granted, they're stitched together, but they're still people. They still had families and souls and places. It's also burning them. Also, head is part of the body we were asked to retrieve, Durgan. Yeah. I would have caught it in a stat. Honor their souls. It's just an abomination now. I, I don't... I don't think going back to the Shawanti and saying we did not bring back this boy, we burned him as an abomination will have the diplomatic effect that perhaps you suspect it will? What do you what? think they will expect when we show them this body right here? How so, will they react to this? Perhaps we can guys, undo some of this. Footsteps coming from the west. Hey, shut up. Just shut up. <clears throat> it draws his crash, bro. As a creature. That's a bloody gnome! Kill it! And behind him, you see a relatively distinct figure as well. <gasps> <laughs> I have a speech! If you like. <laughs> well, if it's, if it's Gadrin, uh, coming around the corner, uh, <clears throat> I think, I mean, are, are we immediately rolling initiative? I, if Jurgen wants to give a speech. It's a short one, unless Pri anyone else Pris has to do got one something, first. Pris has got something to say, too, but. Go we, we can We can roll initiative, and on your initiative order, we can do we can do the speech kind of talk, talking. Sure. It won't cost sure. an action, so. Let's do it then. Uh, let's go ahead and roll. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There we go. Initiativo. As Gadron looks in surprise. What the hell are you? Oh my goodness. Brig! How did they find us? I don't know, boss. Should let Rolf know. Oh my god, my rolls. Oh no. Well, this one's this one's this one's done and dusted. Caden, anything you would like to say? Ooh. Oh. Uh. Did you have any personal vendetta against Gadron Lamb? I, he does. Mm -hmm. He's going to be trying to like hold back like if the vomit and like trying to hold back like him being sick. He's like, I got a bone to pick with you. Fair enough. Where's my boss music? God damn it. There we go. Play that here. Well, what are you doing, Caden? Uh he's gonna say that and he's just gonna get closer. You need to go there. 
one action. Um, right, that's how far? 20. I don't want to get right up <clears throat> in front of people, so he's going to stop there. Maybe intimidate him. Go ahead and target him. <laughs> it would be demoralized, correct? Indeed, under basic action macros. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you. I think I remember you. <laughs> yes. Wasn't your wife the one I slaughtered? Last action, Caden. Uh... Since he said that, would I be able to stride again for my final action? Certainly, make his way up in front, up, up, all in, all up in his grill. Yep, he's gonna do that. <laughs> Those would be the last words you say. Nice, Isabel. Uh, Isabel just kind of like throws a cloak back. Holds up what looks like a kind of a bit of a gnarled staff, like it's been hit by lightning. Hmm. I see. This guy seems like an absolute prick. He did what to your wife? I. Well, I don't know if this is the right choice, but. Uh, I. I shall try. And first action. Gast slashing gust. Let me add a little bit of cover to him. Actually, probably. Probably standard from her vantage point, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Holding attack roll. It's against uh, the both of them. Okay. Against Freak and against Gadrian Lamb as well. will hit both. I did control, yeah, I did shift T, so I don't know why it didn't uh, roll against both. Is this man, one or two creatures? If you have two or two creatures. Yeah, I think Freak actually would have standard cover as well. That would miss Freak due to cover, but that will hit Gadrian. Roll me damage on, roll me, roll me damage on Gadrian, please. No, you do. And final action, she will uh, do, 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 do. uh you she shall channel elements. And uh for people who weren't here last week, what you see is kind of like the flowers around her hair, kind of like the tangles and the vines start to flow a little bit more freely. There's kind of like a very sweet scent in the air around her as she does this. And this will probably mess, but I get it as a free action anyway. Try a one action blast. Mm. Uh, map minus 10. <laughs> this will go fantastically yeah, well. Yeah, you could roll oh, oh, it's out of range? Oh yeah, he's 35, isn't he? It's only 30 oh. for that. Okay, never mind. I'll still try my element, but I just won't do with the uh, blast. That is my turn. Excellent. Durgan, what's your speech? Hey, Dream Lamb, your reckoning has come. You wronged many, but stealing my family's heirloom. That's a debt you paid in blood. It's not just theft, it's a stain on my honor. I'm here to right what's wrong, to take back what you've taken. Today, you answer for the heirloom, and of course, the lives you appended. He. You mean this heirloom? He tugs at something around his neck, and you see. Gadrin's priceless family heirloom in front of you. Well, I hunt brave. Well, oh, bastard, shouldn't that touch your grub beyond so that? I hear a point. Okay. <laughs> ah! Oh, no, uh, that would. Actually, he shouldn't have standard. He should have lesser, which means that would hit. Roll me damage. Solid 13. 
I reload and it's my turn. Excellent. Yava. Okay. Uh, when Yava hears Gadrin's taunts, uh, all the color will drain from her face and she will begin to tremble and wipe her sweaty palms on the skirts of her dresses. Uh, and she's going to actually take a step back. How far is he? 35 feet. Oh, okay. She's just going to stay where she is. Um, poof. And she's going to actually attack Vrieg instead of, and uh, completely ignore Gadrin. Now, what am I going to cast? Let's start with this. Telekinetic. Cast, please. Click on bludgeoning or okay. piercing in the chat. Not that. Is it going? Is it doing? Oh, it is, there it, it is. It is going. Yeah, there we go. That'll hit. Blow me damage. 11 points of damage on Vrieg. Vrieg will take a little bit of money, a little bit of uh, damage as she screams in fury. Roth will have your hands! And shield yourself as a last action. Priz. Gadron Lamb, we are here to bring you to justice. By the authority of the guards of Corvosa, in the name of Iomade the Inheritor, for the people of Corvosa. But not for me. For my part, Gadron, I forgive you. I forgive everything in my power to forgive. And you would see, I think I'd specified that her cloak was red. Oh. And mm -hmm. as she says this, it starts to turn uh, turn white. As she, I forgive your insults, the beatings, murders. I forgive you, Gadron. And then she's going to uh, kick Mayday into gear. We're going to do a Cavalier's Charge and uh, charge through Caden's space to get behind here Okay. and make a strike. Does he respond to uh, her forgiving him? He he looks at you as you stride on by. I have nothing to be forgiven for. <laughs> Everything I did was right. Prez, it's nigh time you learnt that. <clears throat> Gadron, I've already died and come back once. I know what's on the other side, and I forgive you because I won't have the stain of your sin on my soul. And when your soul reaches its destination, the master of that dark place will see you the way I do. Not as a violent, powerful being, but a lost, hollow bully whose effects on this world no more than a whisper of wind in the grass. I need and you, I'll, hero point. I'll actually give you a free hero point to reroll that uh, for a decent. So just take that hero point back. That'll hit. Roll me damage. I'm just going to ward your hero point anyway, so we'll just use that. There we go. Uh, I'll reroll the damage with another hero point. Okay, for sure. <laughs> That's better. Not uh, much, but better. Uh, Gadron seems to be succumbing to his wounds. Rig, remember what we talked about? Of course, of course. Uh, I have one action left. Oh, I do uh, apologize. Yes, you do. So I will uh, ready an action to uh, aid uh, Caden's attack against Gadron. All right. Gadron will... Hmm. Let me double check. He's going to step here. First the wife, then the husband. 
Wouldn't it be romantic? We're gonna stab you, Caden. Not with that number. Not with that number on the dice. Uh, hmm. Rig, I need a little backup here. Oh, okay, that's a crit. There you go, Caden. He will stab uh, you. Yep. No. No. Uh, uh, Caden's in a bad place. I will, uh, I will, instead of doing, I'm going to do my uh, retributive strike. Okay. Strike him, and how much does Caden heal by? Uh, it will heal. Uh, hold on, do this. So I'm not going to be able to aid. Uh, it is, I think, four or five. Let me check. Is it two plus half your level? That would be four. It yeah. is two plus your level, so six. Six. Okay. Get two more to Caden here. And you strike at Gadron. Ugh! Hmm? Roll me damage? Yep. That's better. Uh, this is not the way I expected it to be, Vrieg! Got it, boss. He's going to spend an action. Oh, I see. We had to cast that. Okay. Uh, spend an action. How do I mark that I use my reaction? I'll. I got gotcha. you. There we go. There is a macro in the macro folder. Let me find reaction used here, and I'll let you set that up for yourself if you want to. On the macro, in the macro folder called reaction used. All right, Rig is going to. Spend two actions to target Caden and cast. Yeah, there we go. Click on that wall save there, Caden. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, Oof. hero point. Right click and we roll using your hero point. Okay. Much better. You're only stunned one. And with his last action, Ree's going to shout a command word on the body on the shelf. It's got a bust as it twitches the head of the guy looking for kind of uh, uh, it is prone it will make its way standing up as it is now the Karen Golem's charm Yava how do you react as this thing starts moving uh, yeah, she's gonna gasp and pull her hand away from the table and just kind of stare at it in horror. Well, this first action, the carry going was gonna stand up. <clears throat> it does look weaker than the other one. It doesn't seem to have been completed. Missing a few limbs and pieces there. But probably still just as deadly. As it gets up from the table, it'll look at Yava and will strike at you, Yava. That doesn't crit due to your shield. So it'll deal 16 damage. Yava, hit this fortitude button for me. Okay, good to know. Great. And then it's going to, it's going to uh, for its third action... You feel it's kind of being slightly paralyzed. I'm going to consider this thing as slowed for now. Yes? So, Caden. Um, so, I lose an action? or 
Uh, the Karen Golem only has two actions. It is uh, yet to be fully stitched. Oh, together. no, I was talking about mine for being stunned. You do lose an action. Yes, you are stunned. So you only get two. Okay. So he's just going to double slice then. Excellent. Who are you targeting? Gadron? Gadron. I'm assuming, yeah. That last one would have crit if it wasn't for second, unfortunately, but roll me damage Oof. there. No sneak attack, unfortunately. He is not off guard to you. Um, As you retaliate on Gadron, Gadron just left <laughs> bloods pouring from his mouth. Although he's not he's not in a good place. Isabel. Oh, gracious, what the is even going on here? <sighs> she kind of takes a deep breath to start to see electricity tingle off of her skin. Sudden bolt. That is almost a critical failure. Oh, by one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> what? Somewhere what? A Shawanti Druid cries about how his never works. As you zap it. Wait, really? Oh my fucking god, Isabel. No way. No way. <laughs> oh, god damn it. It seems to not affect the thing in the least. That is a shocker. Wow. 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 God damn. Oh, my golems. However, uh, yeah, that is a very true and fair. As yep. you cast electricity damage on him. Wait, see... did, so he did no damage, but is this one of the ones where electricity actually powers him up? I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't. It seems to, yep start losing its slowed <laughs> as the electricity seems to power <laughs> oh fuck <laughs> uh Isabel that's alive. your first two actions it is alive indeed it's definitely alive uh, Isabel is just like stunned just complete and utter just disbelief in her face what I, I what I, nothing's ever withstood the the storm, the, the, I, I, what, um, uh, oh, um, here, dear, you will probably need this. And I'll do fresh produce on, uh, Yava. Yava, an apple, I'm assuming an apple, yes, mm -hmm. grows in your hand, and you can use an action to eat it to heal a lot of HP there. Yes? If, on your yes. turn, if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Durgan. Well, Durgan's like, notice that the current gonna get like, stronger. Yes, you absolutely notice it getting stronger. There are says why I don't trust gnomes. They're making more troubles. I have to do this. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> fine. What are you doing, Durgan? Well, this is more troublesome than Gaten right now. He will shoot the golem. That is almost a crit, but not quite. Roll me damage. Ooh, Ferroni. Two damage on him. I don't have any other weapons. Um, you could have hunted prey, I think. That would have helped. But... He, he won't, trust me. Fair enough. The reason why I won't is because Gatorm is alive. Gatorm is your prey. I get you. Alright, you shoot the golem, it Kind of bounces off. You reload. Bloody hell. Assisting shot. On. Golem. The golem. Got it. That will unfortunately miss. We need some help over here. That's his action. That is your turn. Yava, what are you doing? Okay. I'm going to move. Uh, I'm going to move... No, I'm not. I'm going to measure. Hang on. 
Okay, I'm gonna. She's gonna cower behind uh, Durgan. Um, Dagan, do you, do you think that? Do you think that if we kill Vrieg, that that thing will go back down? Oh, that's fine though. Maybe kill the necromancer. Uh, the golem is down, perhaps. All right. Uh, she's gonna eat the apple. How do I do that? Uh, click on leveled HP for me, Isabel. <laughs> Bam! You... Oh, minimum health. Right. <laughs> Eight HP, Yaba. That's the second action. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna recast shield on myself. It helped your ass last time for sure. Sure did. All right, Prez. Okay, so we'll start with Caden. Uh... I have faith in you. Let the inheritor's grace guide your blades. So it's two actions. Mm -hmm. So there's the lay on hands and then the uh, guidance effect. And uh, last action, uh, Mayday. Mayday is going to move us to here. And Mayday, not Priz, is going to take a strike at Gadron. Do it. And uh, yeah, she's just gonna miss. She does a a quick uh, jaw bite, but he gets his ankles out of the way before she can tear him to the ground. Mm. That's my turn. Gadrin's cackling with glee, even though he is nearly dead. <laughs> I remember you. Just gonna limp over here. Look at Yava. Remember you. You. Uh, As she sees uh, Gadrin come around the corner, she'll immediately like lower her eyes, uh, not meet his gaze, and almost kind of cower. You were so easy to mold and influence. Why did you have to leave? He'll step up and try to stab you. This is what you get for leaving lambs, lambs. So you deal 13 damage to you. Reed's gonna spend an action sustaining the golem magic and two actions to Let's rouse some skeletons. Place 10 foot first. Oh, can I do it in a place that'll hit? Can he see that area? I think he can, right? Did that work? I need the three of you to roll me basic reflex save, please. I assume. Yava, Jurgen, and Isabel. Sorry, what'd you say again? Reflex? Hit the button in chat for me where it says reflex, basic reflex. Oh. Durgan, also, please. Uh, give me a second. I use a reaction. Oh. Call on ancient blood. If that works on me, if I read right. I just have a resistance towards magic searches. And I get a plus one circumstance bonus. Okay, that is fine. Click on the, When you click on the reflex save, click on that toggle that comes up. And it should give you a plus one there. Push back the dead what? Do I have that on? You sh... Oh, I think... Uh, I think... No, that's that shouldn't be on. Uh, Aiden's not here. There we go. All right. Uh, Isabel takes full. Everybody else takes half.
That is Reeg's turn. The Golem. Oh boy. Yep, we'll strike a Durgan. For seven damage. Durgan, roll me this fortitude save. Is it magical? It is indeed. It is. No, it's a disease. Okay, just making sure. You're fine. It will claw attack you for a nat 1 and MAP. Fucking nat 20 there. I'm sorry, Durgan. I think he wants to kill us. Uh, <laughs> roll me another fortitude save there. There you go. You are not infected. Caden, save the day. Ooh. Okay. Uh, he's, he's gonna chase find a down. Flank somewhere. You can flank here, probably here. Yeah. And then he will double slice again. Go for it. Okay, one of those hits. Roll me damage. Uh, don't forget you had guidance, so you could have added a plus one to that first one. Yeah, plus one for that first one. Unfortunately, does still not make it a crit. Just barely makes it a crit, but does not exactly push it forward. That's okay. Roll me damage on the first first one, please. He's going for both. It's fine. Just hit the button. I think it should okay. automate it. Gadron takes quite a bit of damage there as he's just... <laughs> Hold on. Can we <laughs> talk about this? I'll give you your I have load. vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll rebel take it from your course and you just get a hero it. point, Caden. Caden. Uh, well done, Isabel. Okie dokie. Uh, we shall do a two action heal on Yava. That's sexy. Here. Wow. Wow. Uh, and then we shall do a fresh produce on Durgan. Durgan, one hand has an apple, one hand is holding the crossbow. You'll have to eat the no, apple. No, just, just don't quite. I know I'm a gnome, but don't question it. It'll help you. I, honestly, <laughs> it, it, it will help. Yes? She kind of like gives you like a weak kind of thumbs up, almost like a, yeah, we good. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Durgan's grumbling. <laughs> uh, that's my turn. That's Durgan, all do you eat the apple with an action or no? Uh, if this is poisoned, why would it be poisoned? Me no. Oh, we'll see goes the through his head. He eats the apple. Go ahead and click on leveled HP there. A nice, solid 13 healing. He didn't reload. Then point black shoots gate red. Ah, you can have this back. Come on, shoot. You can have this back. Roll me down. Riot, you fool. How do you want to do this? I have been chasing you across the stam country, Gaten. And he just points his crossbow like a uh, point blank at his head. And I hope death isn't forgiving for you in the afterlife. And he shoots. No! no. Please, somebody help! As he pathetically falls to the floor, screaming from help from a deity or from anybody. It looks very pathetic as he dies there. No! Kill the damn necromancer so the golems goes down. He in his turn. Roth will have your head! Is that your turn? Eat, reload, and shoot. Yes, perfect. Yeah. Yava. Okay, really quickly. Would dispel magic interrupt the gnome's connection to the... You don't know, but you can certainly try. Alright, I'll try. 
All right, I need you to hit that counteract check. What number you need to meet is going to be 23. The golem collapses. <clears throat> no! No! As a um, well done. Okay, that was... Very nice. Very nice. Was that two or one? Two actions. Okay. Um, I... Yeah, okay. I'm going to cast shield again. Because uh, she's too frightened to step over Gadrin's body, even though she recognizes that he's dead. Love that, Yava. Love that method, or not method acting, but, you know, good acting, getting a hero point. Yes? I think I popped up. Well, it sucks to be you. You should be using it more. Can I give it to somebody? <laughs> you could have used it on your uh, disease check when you got disease not too long ago by the Karen Gold. Oh, yeah. I had forgotten about that, that, that completely. That would have, that would have been, that would have been a, a smart move there. You are feeling a little rash on your, on your little, uh, on your wherever my you're going. bite yeah the bite wherever it hits you what are you doing priz <laughs> all right uh well i can i get to here sure move to there uh so first action will be to direct mayday mayday is going to move us and to do the support benefit mm -hmm. Uh, so her support benefit is if I strike, uh, it is minus 10 to Vrieg's speeds. Okay. If I hit, it's minus 10. I thought it was a, on, a, on a crit or something. Let me just see here. Nope. Uh, oh, it's minus 10 on a crit. It's yeah. minus 5 on a, on a hit. All good. Roll me an attack roll. Uh, where is Yava? Yava Around Vrieg. the corner. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, so I will go ahead and strike. That, that is a hit. So minus five to his speeds. Mm -hmm. Nine damage. Not a ton. Uh, and unfortunately, Yava's a little too far. Um, so the last action will be, uh, once again, to, uh, prepare to aid, uh, an attack against, uh, against this guy. No, no, not Gadrin. Ah, damn it. Fine. He's going to spend a three action activity casting his hands, putting his hands together and chanting, Ascanasulas. As Gadrin's corpse twitches. This is where Durgan will be surprised the moment he kicks it. As Gadrin seems to shift slowly. His eyes open back up again. As let me change this token art here. As Gadrin seems to be coming back to life, but not the way uh, Frizz came back to life. That was a cool way of coming back to life. This is just filthy necromancy. <laughs> and Yava, I need a wolf saving throw as an undead Gradrim lamb shows up up in your grill. He has 555 HP. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, how are you feeling? I'm going to go ahead and say that, uh, like, she's going to, as he stands up, she's actually going to cover her face and squat down onto her, uh, like, onto her haunches and just, you'll hear her mumbling, like, this isn't happening. This isn't real. <sighs> Uh, creepy, and that's Rig's turn. Unfortunately, I couldn't get within 15 feet of Yava and also set up a flank. Caden, what are you doing? Double slice again. You will die. Slice. 
device into gay run. Go yeah. for it. 14 as pieces and little bits of flesh of Gadron start slowing off. <laughs> That's two actions, Caden. Um, I guess I would attack him again. Go for with, it. Um, with map? You have map 10 on this one. 10? Mm -hmm, because double slice uses two maps. Okay, or so minus, the third one. Yeah, the third one. Minus eight. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Ooh, almost hits, but it wasn't for that damn filth fever. Because the second, unfortunately. Oh, I don't have the thing. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. Uh, that is your turn, Isabel. Okay, I'm going to two action elemental blast. That'll hit. Oh, not the best. Uh, he will take Takes four. four. No he, will, he will take four positive. That is positive. Yes, he will take four positive damage as <laughs> this undead Gadron looks even more unnerving than the real life one. Goodness, so. never seen anything like this before. Uh, she shall move up to here, and that's a turn. Excellent, Durgan. How much does it cost to push someone to the ground? Like, uh... it's a shove action. Let's see, basic macros, right? Mm -hmm. Shove, shove, are you, shove. Are you shove. trying to trip somebody to make them prone, or push somebody out of the way? Uh, it's literally the same for me. I, I want to prone them. Yeah. Uh, that's trip. Oh, that's trip. Sorry, not shove. What am I, what am I thinking? Yeah, that is well, trip. I, not... I'm just imagining that Dirk and he shoves him, you know, like a trip. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Roll me targeted and use trip for me, please. Well, well I tried. Uh, he's not reflexy. He's more just a hard to trip because of his uh, slow, like just zombie kind of it, when somebody dies and they blow it a little bit they're just heavier you know so um oh bloody hell well at least i can kill you twice he reloads and shoots him i assume it's a uh, minus this does have mat yes all right that will miss yava all right uh not standing from her little squat that she's cowering in she's going to cast shield on herself first Solid. and then she's going to try to dispel magic put that down right check unfortunately yeah 27 gadron has already been brought back it's not a lifelink connection like it was with the carrion gadron's mm -hmm. gadron's a strong independent zombie who don't need no master uh -huh. That's right. Got it. So uh, you attempt to, and, and he just. <laughs> and the Necromaster giggles in the back as well. Good attempt, though. Good attempt. Priz. All right. Well, it's time for something truly desperate. First action, dismount. Second action, move to here. Uh, third action will be, yeah, uh, yep, third action is just going to be to swing on Vrieg, I think is, well, hold on, let me, let me check something. Uh, I just need to double check what the damage is on Mayday's attack. Mm -mm. No, it's it's actually better for for Priz to take the attack. So Priz is going to take a slash on uh, on Vrieg mm. for the last action. Nice with the yeah. flanking that hits. So 
for that. Uh, and uh, having seen uh, Priz standing in the middle of the, the foes, uh, at the end of my turn, anybody who had a Frightened Condition, but nobody really does, uh, would lose it at the end of my turn as I uh, inspire my allies with my Aura of Courage. I will say, Flavor, because y'all was frightened. Not mechanically, but, you know, yeah. Flavor a little bit, if, if you don't mind. Yeah, I mean, it's you can see Priz, like, has dismounted fearlessly moved into a position is attacking vrieg is pushing vrieg back the white cloak flapping in the darkness it almost seems to glow with a divine light as uh you know priz in her armor is just resplendent and lets you know like we're gonna stand strong against this and you don't need to fear gadron the disgusting zombie man was also disgusting before he died turns towards Yava and goes in for a reaching Yava you cringe reflectively as he goes in and attempts to bite at your neck but I'm gonna just Press. use a dagger attack here but it'll just be the same damage so uh Pris, you can retro can you retribute or strike uh I can I won't be able to hit him but I can uh block the damage so, so uh with a uh flick she bats the uh bats gadron back and then gets back into her guarding position so i will spend my uh, reaction and you take uh six less damage uh, and actually if you use your shield you take you would take literally no damage use it you can burst. you can use the shield, you can shield block with it it what? blocks five dam it blocks five damage but then you can't use the spell again for 10 minutes okay so yeah, you, I might as well. You, you might as well get this disgusting person off your face. So let's yep. heal you up here for another four as the shield explodes. Uh, and then Priz just kind of waves Gadron. Uh, Gadron is slowed. Um, so he will use his last action to attempt to strike at Yava uh, again. Uh, Yava. It is evilly creepy here and he will manage to chomp a little bit off yava unfortunately it is disgusting that is gadron's turn vrieg will hmm. gonna cast a quick spell let me see here 30 foot line there we go I'm gonna cast grim tendrils uh as from the ground multiple just black trundles to erupt and just go reaching through priz through Caden, all the way down to isabel all three of you need to roll me that fortitude save Ooh. holy First of all, don't give a shit. Oh, praise. I will hero point it. Okay. My last one. Excellent. Worth Two it. successes. And so you both take half of this. And no bleed. I don't think you get bleed. I think it's like the tendrils trying to lash up at Isabel. You kind of just see, because it's in her aura, you kind of just see like little bits of wood and just sharp twigs just start snapping away at the tendrils to keep them at bay. Thank you. And then he's she's just gonna uh kind of punch at Priz with a no MAP actually. Yep. So oof. Why did I roll oof. another 20? It's fine, just take damage. There we yeah. go. Caden. As he gets hit, like he's like <clears throat> come on, Caden. And then he's gonna attack again with uh twin fane. Twin Fane or Double Slice? Twin Fane. Twin Fane, go for it. Roll me the first attack. The he's... Twin Fane won't do anything because he's already going to be flat or flanked. He's he off is, guard. He too. is already flanked. I would recommend Double Slice. On, in this okay, case. Double Slice. Yeah. yeah, use the macro for Double Slice for me, please. Crit miss. Damn. Unfortunately, the dice rolls roll the one and a three. I... You can reroll hero point to reroll one or both if you want. 
There you go. Hell yeah, roll me damage. We're rolling both. Dang it. All right. I guess damage on one. Yep. <sighs> Undead Gadron. I should rename him to Undead Gadron. Doesn't seem to. I don't know. Does he even care that he's being hit? He's undead, right? Do zombies know? Uh, fair enough. Caden, that's two actions. What's your last one? MP minus eight. Give it a shot. Oh, hold on. Wrong one. This one. You're rolling pretty bad this round, unfortunately, but that is your turn. Isabel. Hmm. Uh, did, guys, do I take down this necromancer first, or what? Did any? Uh, I don't know. Well, hopefully this doesn't power him up like it did the last one. <laughs> uh oh. You will unfortunately succeed for solid eight damage there. Damage and uh. Should then do a one action secondary blast on Dunde Gadron. That's half a crack. That Yo. is a miss, unfortunately. Yeah, that's my turn. All right, Jurgen. I reload. Reload. He is still your hunted prey, technically. Exactly. Exactly. I shoot. That's a hit. Roll me. Damn, son! Did it, did it do it? Let's go. I reload it again. <laughs> my turn. And he will, uh, Dirk will just say, Stay the bloody down already. You're dead. Yava. Okay. <clears throat> uh, as she kind of cowers below him, she's going to look up with a flash of anger in her eyes and she's going to pick up her hands. But she's going to try to hit him three times. As a force barrage of missiles flies out from your hands, hitting him in the chest. <clears throat> <clears throat> He's not looking good. Even the undead version isn't. So that was a three action first barrage, yes? Excellent. Chris. Okay. We are going to get him, girl. Uh command Mayday for the first action. So Mayday is going to start with a trip. And they all fall prone. Well done. So, Brig is prone. Mayday's next action will be to bite. So, as a dog does, you know, trips him up. And then she's going to try to just <laughs> savage him. Although this will have MAP. Oh. That still hits. Well nice. done, Mayday. So. <sighs> big old dog uh, over him. Uh, slamming him into the ground and starting to savage him. Uh, Priz has two actions left. I will also swing. Another hit. Roll me damage. You are hitting because of flanking on all these. Well done. Or off guard. Nice. 11. Riga's not looking good. And uh, we're going to uh, try one more time with the uh, MAP. Let's see what happens. Uh, five isn't going to do it. That is it. That's five the turn. Dice won't do it. Undead Gadron. <laughs> Uh, 
He looks lost. A little bit confused. As he stumbles around in place. He will do nothing. As you guys look at him, and he's just like, ah. Ah. Does anybody feel pity? I already forgave him. Why would Durkin feel pity towards him? Is a good question. No! No! Roth, where are you? Damn it! It's off doing something or another. He'll stand up as a first action rig. And we'll cast Vampiric Touch on Priz. Okay. Success. Well done. Uh, it's a basic, so we'll do 10 damage on you, Priz. Yep. And he will gain 5 temporary hit points. No, 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 this wasn't how I was supposed to go! Gadron, do something, damn it! <sighs> Gadron just is looking at the ceiling at this point in time. Just hopelessly lost and confused. What are you doing, Caden? Let's repeat. Oof. Okay. Roll me damage. <sighs> he turns towards you and just looks into your eyes, Caden. You see you see blackness. Gadron's soul is already gone. Whatever is left here is but a hollow, confused husk. Last action. I am the knight. <laughs> ah. You gotta roll first and then say it, man. <laughs> roll then do the cool line. <laughs> yeah, it's about yeah. Right. Let's finish this hopefully. A little bit of cover, that'll hit. Roll me damage. Rig is not looking good. Thought that would finish him. Well, here goes nothing, I suppose. Yeah, I thought oh, as much. And that's my turn. Durgan, you want to finish Gadron for a second time here, buddy? Sure. Gotta hit him really hard. That hits? That that's exactly his HP. How do you want to do this? <laughs> well, I didn't expect to kill you twice today, Gadron. It seems like it's my birthday. And he goes <laughs> for the hit once again. Amazing. Gadron just <laughs> collapses to the ground, his undead body falling limp. And off in his corpse. You will see probably not the best time because we're still in the in combat, but you will see something very interesting, Durgan. Yava. Wait, 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 wait. I want to use one action. Oh yeah, sorry, you still have an action. <laughs> what are you doing? You want to loot it as an action? Well, the thing is, it's press turn. You know, if you've got yeah, it's it's you've got finish your turn and then and then it'll be uh, Yava's I'll, turn. I'll move it back. It's fine. I reload mm. first. Uh -huh. Then I loot. Then you grab. The I fence. know it's mid of a combat, but I'm looking at a necromancer with near death, and I think, yeah, they got it. <laughs> you are fine. That is what Durgan would do anyway. Just loot it from loot me there. Uh, and now it's Java's turn. What are you doing, Java? Okay. Uh, Java's going to stand. Does that take half my movement? You are technically prone. Technically. Not really. I was, were, yeah. were just cowering. cowering. Yeah, so that's fine. We'll, we'll say it doesn't take an action. Okay, still not still not stepping over Gadrin. She's going to uh, kind of maneuver around. Well. Um, and 
Uh, she's going to cast this. It's going to steal Prez's kill, huh? <laughs> Go for it. Well, I mean, attack roll. Well, not like Miss. that. Not like that. Not like that. Not like that. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair uh, enough. I can't do shields. No, you moved and attacked. That's it. That's all you oh, got. Oh, yeah. That's, That's all it. you got. Okay. All right. Prez, nobody stole your kill. You steal your own kill. Yeah. Uh, so, first action will be. Uh, yeah. Just a. In this case, so mechanically, it's uh, it's still Priz spending the action, but in this case, it is the low growl from Mayday that is coordinating the attack. Priz oh. hears that Mayday is about to uh, about to to dive in, and so uh, they are both going to attack. Uh, so let me start with Mayday. That'll be a hit, Almost and a I will uh, roll damage after I see if Priz also hits. Yeah. Also a hit. So the two of them basically coordinate this, and uh, the dog and the goblin. Dog goes high, the goblin goes low, and uh, that's the damage. Still up? No, he's dead. No. No. He's so, absolutely dead. Yeah, mate. Uh, Priz hamstrings him, and uh, Mayday goes over the top and just brings him down and savages the body. Uh, and uh, Priz has one action left. So, uh, last action will be to move here, and uh, uh, give give Yava a big hug on the leg. For being brave. Uh, Yava will kind of reach down and, and pat her shoulder and kind of nod her thanks. And uh, since we're out of combat now, right? Yeah, I need a desperate 15-minute break. Can we do that now before we do post-combat stuff? Unless you guys wanted to chat. Uh, Yava, heal 12. Okay. Okay. A, a, a hug on hands. Lay on hugs. <laughs> Aww. Oh, lay on hugs. I like we'll, that. We'll take a little, like that. little break here. I need a desperate break, so we'll be back in a bit to wrap up this dungeon and see what's going on, and then we'll resume here. Bye-bye. I'm back. What are we doing, boys? Is it fine I changed the name of the alien? Gadron stands dead. Does he? Do you stand when you're dead? No, you, you lie. Lie there, dead. He's, he's dead. Well, he stood while he was dead as well. Finally, but... your revenge. That's uh, true. Revenge? Is it revenge? Maybe revenge. Maybe just... Justice. Catharsis. But yeah, he's gone. What do you guys do? Burn the corpse. <laughs> With the books. Someone... Throw the am books I, on I... the corpse oh and set Fucking... them all on fire. My headset was turned off, and I can't hear anybody. I was like, why are you laughing, Summer? Why can't I hear Summer laughing? Okay. Can somebody say something? Test. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey. Test, test, test. Okay. Why did? What's going Testing on? One, yeah, two, I can hear you now. Well, okay. Derek had said, "Burn the corpse." Burn the. Okay. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair burn enough. The, then I said, "Throw the books onto the body and let's burn everything to the ground." Burn all three. I let's throw the books in it as well. He begins to take the, the books out of the bag of holding. Let's no. burn it all. Uh, no, um, we're not seriously doing this, are we? Um. There's knowledge in that, Durgan. Forbidden magic. Yava is going to sink her hands into Mayday's fur uh, just to kind of ground her and comfort her. Would Mayday react? Emotional support dog. Uh, I think you, you, would, you would see a little uh, twinge and she'd kind of look at Priz and Priz would just kind of like do a little nod. That, that you're a safe person. Yep. Yava will just so, kind of keep clear, adding. Maybe and... would have flinched away from you a little bit, and then Priz kind of gave a nod that you're like a safe person. I don't think that Yava would even recognize. She's kind of off in her own thoughts, so she'll continue to pat and pet and 
take comfort in made a soft fur. She's a good dog. And you're um, looking a little banged up there. Prayers, would you mind if I tended to your wounds? I I wouldn't say no. Durkin, uh... I I meant what I said to Gadrin. I forgive him. I suggest you do too. He can only I... be a stain on your honor if you let him. Don't give him the power even in death. There is a difference. Dwarven honor. So, I got the stuff back. I killed him twice. And now I burned the corpse. But that's it. He doesn't deserve the forgiveness for what he did. It's not about him. It's about you. And it's about realizing... There's Are no... you saying I'm the problem? In, in, in many ways, yes, but not in this one. <laughs> in this one, what I'm saying is... You, you don't need to give to elevate him to the standard of someone who could have impugned your honor to begin with. I didn't impugn my honor. He took something precious. That's, an insult. That, that, that's what impugn your honor means. Mm -hmm. I need you to hit this button for me. Congratulations. The rash goes away. Oh, good. She'll kind of absentmindedly rub her arm and go back to her brooding. At least there's not two of us now. <laughs> Where is this loot coming from? Uh, from Vrieg's party. <coughs> there's also two okay. more rooms you guys should probably explore. Before we burn the body, Durgan, can you perhaps see to uh, maybe maybe with with Caden's help? I don't know. See to extricating. What was this, Sean? T also, name? Uh, MVP Yava dispelling magic on the girl golem. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, what was his? Name? Is it Gakin? No, Gakin's body. Gakin, Something yeah, like that. Gakin, yeah. Gakin. Gakin, yeah. Gakin, can yeah. you perhaps we we should bring Gakin or what we can back to his people? Are you saying we need to carve his other stuff out? It sounds yeah. like it. Yes, I'm I'm saying we it's need to It's only his head on here. Just a heads yeah. up. Everything else is doesn't seem like Gakin's. Well, I mean, sure, I could just cut the head off, but I don't think the person will like it. You don't think which person will like which? Well, we have to get the body back, right? And if we just bring the head only, you think he'd be happy? No, I'm, I'm saying can you free the head respectfully from the carrion golem? While we... And how I am supposed to do this in the respectfully way to remove a hit from a corpse. I only what? got my dagger's knife. I mean, a clan dagger's knife. Just all Kaden I'm then, saying is, can like, you do Kaden, it without... Kaden, Jesus, Kaden, just... <laughs> Kaden, what? what Kaden? As you guys are arguing, Kaden's just going to cut the head off. Like, Hell just... yeah, Kaden, Kaden, <laughs> hero point for fucking taking initiative during this argument. Uh, you grab I'm the... not the one that started it. Kaden, you grab the guy's head. You cut it off. Yes, you have Gaken's head in your inventory. Well, I won't put it in your inventory, but you have it. Yes? Okay, oh, now can we burn Gadrin's he... body? And the necromancers. I want to see him burn. Dirk and will, yeah, light a torch and put the butt up. Isabel's uh, rethinking her, their life choices. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's just kind of slowly, just in the corner, trying to just try to take in the sight she's seeing. Like, clearly, from what was said during the battle, this is someone who had, you know, 
clearly hurt the rest of the party, but she doesn't really know what the hell's going on. The insistence on burning the body, like, sure, it's a a corp. The corpse was brought back to life, but I feel like she'll know enough about magic to be like, well, you've kind of killed the source of what you know brought him back. Do you really need to burn him? Is this we some catharsis? I feel like any corpses. That is no, beneath I... us. It I... would diminish us. I get that impression from yourself, Priz, but... <clears throat> are we burning... Wait, we are burning the corpses, or no? Uh, Priz would not have allowed that. Priz, if you tried to burn, I, I would say... You, you, you see yeah. him dragging the other corpse closer to Gadrin. Well, I'm saying that the, the, the initial attempt to burn Gadrin would not have even started. Oh. Priz... Priz said to you, we're not desecrating any corpses because that is beneath us. That will diminish He's us. He's going to hold up the other head. He's like, what about this? That's not desecration, or it didn't need to be. What? No, the desecration, desecration happened before yeah. we even arrived here, sadly. Well, why can't we desecrate Gaitrin's corpse? I'm fine with it. Kingdom's fine with it. And I bet Java's fine with it. I'm not sure about it. Uh, I'm no. not. Oh, but what if he comes back? What if the gnome comes back, the necromancer, and they he, he come won't. back and attack us? Seems very paranoid there, Durgan. Well, My knowledge of just... magic is he's he's gone. This person who has wronged you is gone. They've got I... the justice that you see. That you let it you saw it, so I'm happy he's gone. But did you see the magic? Who knows yes, well, if was that here. necromancer has a way to revive him back himself? What if he has a gemus, a ritual somewhere to revive him back? And then bring Gadrin back again? I doubt that highly. Ergen, let it go. I won't let it go. The corpse deserves to be burned. Same with that one. He points also the one behind him. Unless you want filth to be in this cave and spread disease as well. No, what I want is to remove the bodies and bury them with the respect that they deserve. None of these people, gesturing at the golem, Asked to be part of this. Mm. They don't deserve your scorn. I imagine it's they were taken scorn. against their will as well. It's not a scorn to burn a body. It also shows you honor them. Oh, that's this is your 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 this is your trying a, to honor these bodies by immediately a, setting them on fire down here. There is a difference. I'm not fine with that body. But Gaitrens doesn't deserve to be buried down. Hell, we could just leave it here in the open and let the rats eat it. That's a strange sense of honor, Durgan. It's not honor. He deserves it. There's a difference. So you'll diminish yourself Man, out of fight. I won't talk about honor and glory and whatnot about a dead corpse. Let's just loot this place and get this done with. He <laughs> Stay I, over room. Now he listen, know listen, it. listen, listen. I just want to make sure he doesn't stand again. He's 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 destroyed. He, he, yes. As is the magic that's bound him here and brought him back. You don't need to fear that. Well, I mean, secret perception. What if he does? Did it just get really quiet all of a sudden, or? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I, I, Durkin is just grumbling right now. He won't say anything what he finds. Not now. Durkin, you find a hidden niche with a few interesting objects inside of it. Um, Caden, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't. People don't seem to be. I'm not gonna do it. Not gonna. Yeah, do it. just just let. Let it go. Yeah, but what is your opinion on all this? 
Yeah, you hear uh, right as Durgan starts storming off, she's going to turn around and be like, I can't listen to this anymore. And she's going to turn around and kind of numbly walk into the next room. You see what seems to be a stitchery. No, that's a, that's a room, a large four-poster bed and a simple writing desk. One full-length mirror propped against the wall. Sitting on the desk is a curious but broken knife with a key-shaped blade. Um, It looks like another of the knives that you've seen. You saw this in Gadron's chamber as well. Mm. A knife with a key-shaped blade. This one is broken, though, not worth a lot. Um, But still reminiscent of the other knife you found. And a hidden niche in the back here that uh, Durgan's currently stifling through containing an unusual piece of dust. Uh, wrong character. Dust? Usual <laughs> dust, yes. Unusual dust. It's called an unusual object. It is. It needs to be identified. Is what no. the, what's the, what if the, it's dusty, it looks eh, weird. And it takes the weird silver snuff box out. It's inside. Sure. Actually, it's inside the silver snuff box. Oh, the, okay. yeah, yeah, it would be. And he opens his he dust and says, weird, and closes it again. Uh, while they're while they're doing that, um, Chris is going to gather these two bodies and, uh, if they have bed rolls or anything, wrap them in their own bed rolls and start. Uh, she's it's not like a she's not praying for their their souls, but um, you know, is wishes them well on whatever journey they have in the afterlife. Mm. <coughs> Probably not a good one. Hey, uh, Isabel, she knows it. So yeah. she's going to give him whatever grace she can. Isabel, they... actually, you don't know about Gatekin's body. Uh, Yava, you don't see it. Never mind. There's another room here that you guys can also venture forth into. Oi, Caden. I think I have something you want. He takes the thief's toolkit out and shows it to him. I could use it, but I believe it will be better for ya. Those would be a good tool. Yava, you see the remnants of Gaken's body on the table here. His torso, his arms, a bit of his legs. Mostly intact. Is there like a mm, burlap, something I could wrap the remains in? Probably just the bed sheets from this small little bed here, if you want to do that. Okay. She'll take the sheets off and she'll start kind of respectfully uh, wrapping up the remains. Uh, and then she'll walk over to Kate and then kind of put her hands out for the head. Oh, God damn it, keep pressing. Hands it over. Okay. She'll uh, <clears throat> she'll place it place it in the sheet and continue to wrap it up. And then we'll hold it like it was... A boy. Legs over. Yeah. You also recognize the stash when you have stash when you find it. A lot of loot here to be found. Don't complain about me not giving you guys treasure, because there is some treasure up in here. Okay, it's not a lot of treasure, but it's some treasure. <laughs> yes. It's treasure. It's something. I found some dust. I'm not sure if it's anything special. Special kind of dust or powder? It could be healing, I suppose. I can take a look. Romeo yeah. opens the silver... Oh, where did I put it? The... Oh, the snuff box. It's in my treasure. Um, you might as well attempt to identify this item there. Yeah, it takes me a minute as well. I've got quick, quick identification. Perfect. It is a dust of disappearance. Oh, it's um, yeah, you know, it's not healing at all. But it's um, unless you were uh, turned invisible, actually, maybe an escape plan for this fellow, who still not who who is this fellow actually? It's Gage from Side Tim, I believe, a rat that would probably run away if he got to use it. Mm, yeah, struck me as the fellow from what you uh, what was said during that battle. Uh, are all of you okay? It seemed like quite a personal 
mission for all of you, for lack of a better term. Well, I'm fine. I got to kill him twice, and I got my heirloom back. I'm not sure about Java. She feels a bit shaken. And, well, the goblin. Pretty well. Yeah, she's tough to dance with, I tell you. <laughs> she's very uh, resolute in her beliefs. You should respect that, Durgan. Oh, I do respect it, but not towards a person that stole from me and my family. I will not respect that dead body or that. Hmm. Feels like a difference of opinion, then. I... No. What about you, Yara? Are you okay? Mm. You kind of just feel like Am a little okay? tug on your leg. She'll kind of look down. Again, she looks very hollow, skin very pale. Hmm. Okay. Um. No, I'm not okay. And then she'll kind of start to stride away. <laughs> yeah, Is Isabel won't like try and stop you in any way. She'll just kind of like hold a hand out. Oh, um, hmm. like, yeah, this isn't the time, clearly. Do you guys loot? I'll just put all the loot in this room here. Loot the stuff. And the I think it's better. I mean, you can, it's more like you got their back of holding. I think it's better for him to look Go ahead and stick it in the bag of holding, mm. yeah. Unless someone else wants to take something. Yeah, whatever. You, whoever wants to grab it. It's treasure items to sell at the end of the day here. Yeah, for now, he will put them inside his bag of holding. So. At this point in time, you've uncovered that Rolf, Gadron's son, is not here. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was some weird necromancer kind of guy who probably was Rolf's minion. Um, and Gadron himself was kind of laying low here, waiting for Rolf to come back. But you just killed him. You outright killed him. And that's absolutely fine. Um, there's little left here for you guys. You've recovered Gakin's body. Let me know if you're willing to return back to the entrance once you came. Hmm, seems good. Yep. Oh, wait, there was still some loot. Did you not grab it? Jeez. No, there's some, there was a potion in the right, scroll. All right, I'll put you back in the dead water. My precious loot, bro. bro. Well, you've <laughs> had like 20 minutes to grab all I was this waiting loot. for someone to take the scroll to Just... strike and the healing potion. All right, we'll move you back too. Is everybody okay? Are we feeling okay? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Go ahead. Yava seems sad, I think, but that's just good acting. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not I'm not sad. I don't care. Fair <laughs> Yava's devastated. So let's move Isabel onto the map here and move you back. Have we looted? We've looted, right? Back to Corvosa. Yes. It is midnight. Oh, is it raining today? Wait, before so. Durgan leaves the cave, he would spit on the Gadron's corpse and leave. <laughs> so, uh, Priz, does do you drag the corpses out and bury them or something? Yeah, yeah okay. I, so I, I, after Priz left, he will spit on the grave then. <laughs> fair enough. Uh, you drag the corpses through the dungeon, Priz, find a unplotted chart, uh, and this is literally a cemetery, and begin burying the corpses, I'm assuming. Yes? Yeah. Uh... We don't need to get go through all that, and then uh, you know, eventually Durgan walks by, spits on the grave, and moves on. That's absolutely fine. Where do you guys go at this point in time? Uh, yeah, Yava has the remains kind of cradled in her arms, and so she's going to start marching towards uh, Volshenik Castle Volshenik. Volshenik. Um, Is there a place where you need to report to? I mean, oh, um. The other seems to be heading in a direction. I, I would quite like to take care of Caden here, but if you still have pressing means, uh, by all means, I'll accompany you. You got... Will, uh, does Priz have time to to then catch up to the group after all of this? 
Uh, depends on if the group waited or not. Did you wait around? I'm going to say that Yava was not going to go back into that room with Gadron's corpse. And so she would have waited for, for, uh, yeah, Priz to clear out with, with him. I think you had enough time, Priz. Sure. You could say the party just hung around. Aiden gave an interesting story about Aiden, Detective Lang. Give a cool detective mystery story to entertain people during the time. And eventually you guys wander your way through the streets. It is a quiet evening. Uh, not a lot of people out. And there's a, still a bit of tension from what happened, what is, has been happening these days. You see a... Interesting. So, as we're walking, um, Yava is carrying the body, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So Priz will will sidle up next to next to Yava, uh, and just say, "You know, if it if it ever gets too heavy, I can I can help share the load." Uh, Yava will kind of give her a side eye and and smirk at her double meaning, and kind of nod, and say, "I, I spent a lot a lot of time thinking about." What it would look like to see the light fade from his eyes. And I always thought that I would feel a lot of relief. Uh, maybe I wouldn't feel so angry or scared all the time. But now I just feel robbed. Well, just remember, he he wasn't as powerful as he thought he was. It, it's up to you to decide how much he made you who you are and how much you did. And I'm, well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here too, Priz. Amble along in silence. You will all make your way to Southern Volshenek eventually. Uh, the gates are, you know, guarded. Close. You have the dead body. The kind of the front guard kind of panics a little bit when he sees you holding a body. And then I'm assuming you explain. Uh, somebody explains this is what you're meant to be retrieving as they let you into Citadel Volshenek. It is later at night. <clears throat> Cressida, uh, hmm. we'll say she's working overtime. Oh, yes. Why are people still in here? Well, that's fine. Well, you guys sidle your way to her office and people, and she's still like looking really tired. Candlelight flickering. Thousands of bones is in here, of course. Uh, where is, uh, who am I missing on this token list here? Uh, Caden. And Aiden. That's fine. Although Aiden doesn't need to be here. As you guys come in with the corpse. Uh, oh, goodness, you scared me. Oh, oh, is that? Tell me that's what you, that's what I think it is. Hmm. It is. It's gay. It's, it's Thousand Bones here. No, not at the moment, but I will be more than. I'll take care of it from now. Um, and she kind of gingerly unwraps the corpse, confirms that it is his body. And yes, okay, okay. Um, you've done your duty. Was it tough? I almost died twice, but we killed them both. Both. Some parts were harder than others. Yeah, both. Aiden died twice in my hand, and oh. I believe Pris killed a necromancer. Kill Gadron? That's surprising. That's a breath fresher, I guess. Indeed. Oh, we also released some civilians that had been experimented on. Wow. Really? Huh. There's, a, there's an unfortunate down there. He's... 
he's a bit rough, even after a makeover, and um, is a bit dangerous, probably, to be left on his own devices, but maybe with some guidance, he could be good. You should probably send some guards down there, guard that's a bit better. I mean, there was even ghouls down there. There were ghouls? And them on the Alpe. I mean, I'm not sure. A necromancer and some Listen, gnomes that... Our manpower stretch blood. pretty thin, but I'm glad you guys took care of all that. Yeah? Here's your... So, you hand her the body. I'll make sure this is properly handled. Actually, oh. she's... she's Yava's actually kind of last minute going to recoil and, and hang on to the body. Oh. I um, would prefer if... If I gave it over. Two thousand. Oh, wait here. You're gonna have to wait till morning. Hmm. Mm, that's all right. We don't have anywhere to be. There's bunks. She looks confused. Everything okay? I'd, pref I'd prefer to, to see this through, if that's all right. She shrugs. I... Understandable, I guess. Um, I'll summon Thousand Bones here in the morning. And, um, could you... Okay. Are you going to just take that body with you? Is there a place I could lay him? There's some... Let me double check. There is an arresting area upstairs for... Well, is there? Checking. Maybe, maybe an infirmary or. Yep, right up here. Actually, follow me. Um, she will lead you along to. Uh... I, yeah, I was worried about we need to put into the bag of holding. There's... The body. Hey. You know, I'm not happy with this not having lights, so let me fix the light situation instead of the Wolfshenek here, because to be honest, there's a lot of torches probably around, and let me fix that real quick. Light, light. There we go. There's plenty of torches, guys, uh, so I'm just going to make make assume this is daylight. She'll lead you to uh, some spare room she's got on the side. You guys can sleep here for the night. Uh, the guards are out patrolling. Just, you know, make sure that you are wanting to stay here, you can, yeah? Yava will look over at Isabel and and say, um, you don't, if, <clears throat> if you'd like uh, to stay, you can, and if you need to leave, then, you know, that's where we stand. Um, I mean, I do have a place to be, but... I feel like my place is, is here uh, at the moment. You're doing a, a wonderful thing, Yava. A great thing. Um, do you guys... Well, there's not enough beds here. It goes to the other room. Yeah, there's plenty of beds. Uh, there's plenty of places for you guys to sleep. Caden, are you going to be moving with the party as well? Should I move you? I got you, buddy. Oh, yes. <clears throat> You guys are probably tired after a whole day of fighting undead and necromancers, so I'm going to assume you guys are going to rest for the night, yes? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me do that. Mayday's on the bed. Mayday's Frizz on is the on. bed. <laughs> yeah. uh, here's the bad news. Hayden. Uh-oh. I need you to roll this for me. Uh, the oh, drain shit. dropped off and shouldn't have. Uh, yeah, you can add it back if you don't. I'll mind. add that. Uh, and uh, did, like before we went to bed, Priz would have healed everybody to full. Yeah, yeah everybody yeah. healed to full as well. Uh, hit that button in chat for me. Hero point. Hero point. I do I have one. Yeah, my hero point. You want a hero point? I that have Kaden? I have you use a hero point. Go for it. Right click and re roll using hero point. Oh, no. Hayden, you wake up the next morning feeling even <clears throat> worse. You feel, in a way, you feel better about having gotten your revenge on 
your wife's killer. But on a matter of speaking, you are sickened and slowed. Oof. We just all wake up to the sounds of Caden vomiting yeah, in the morning. Caden's not looking good. Uh, Isabel kind of walked straight over to him. Oh, oh my dear, but uh, this seems to be progressing quicker than I anticipated. Uh, we really need to get you looked at, and I, I have a surgery. I, we can, if you have the, the time, we can certainly try. I have just no use to anyone in this state, I'm afraid. Right. I think I think that Caden's gonna need at least a few days of bed rest. Luckily for you guys, you do have some downtime right now after we're done with a thousand bones. So we'll see how that works. Uh Yava, you wake up the next morning, Cressida comes in. Thousands bones is here. Oh, she looks at Caden. But he doesn't look too good. Yeah, but mm. we've got that that covered, don't oh. Don't worry, there's more pressing things right now when oh. Isabella kind of looks at Yava. Okay, uh, come with me, Yava, please, and do bring Kaken. So then Yava's going to look over at Priz and kind of give her... She's not going to say anything, but give her a beseeching look. Yeah, Priz is coming along. So y Yava will gather up the body and then follow Cressida in. Can't move through the door now. Um, I have a question. How much did I offer you for reward for this one? Do you remember what you got? Uh, I, I don't think it was that much. It was like 30 or 40 million. Yeah. It was like not huge. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I don't remember because it's not, I, I should have written it down. How much was yeah, it? Yeah, I can't remember. Nobody remembers. Fuck. It's been quite a while. Uh, we can, we can, you can just give us the money and we can look at what it was. I'll on give the them, well, I'll give the money and I will just, to be fair, I will look at the party wealth, which is a little bit. Let me just look, let me look at party wealth and I'll make it equal to a level five party. So let me see here. Party. Gotcha. Um, sorry, I should do that after talking to Yaba. So Yaba, you make your way into the room. Oh, actually, let's just do it here. Thousands of bones is waiting. So is Cressida. Let's get this random guard out of the way. So, is that my grandson's body? Uh, so Yava will speak to him in Chuanti, ah. which I think everyone except for Cressida understands. Priz, you speak. Does Priz uh, speak Chuanti? I, I speak Ver Verician, but not Chuanti. I think you ah, might be the only okay. one that speaks Chuanti. Okay. So Yava will give a like a respectful Shuante, Shuante, uh greeting and then pass the remains to him and say um, can you confirm that it's him? He'll gingerly unwrap the, the wrapping mm, yes it is him I'm sorry for your loss what is done is done we shall not bury him under the sky, as was intended. Thank you. You're welcome. What, what will your tribesmen do now that you've recovered the body? They will be a little bit more at ease. I can talk to them, and I don't think war is on the table. So that should be good. Hmm? What if war needed to be on the table? Would you be an ally? I don't want it, personally. Too much suffering comes from it. No, I refuse. Okay. None of well, us want it. We're glad to keep your people safe, then. However, if you ever make your way out into our lands, remember you are always welcome, yes? Yes. Did we get which of the clans he was from? Uh, let me do a look. I think I did mention that. Uh, the or was it uh, Shikiri... Swan Kwa, maybe? Clan of the Skull? Okay. Would that would that be correct? I think it is. Yeah, there are. There's, that, yeah. 
that, yeah. that is that is a clan. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, would, he's a sh- uh, he's a shaman for clan of the skull. That dwell in the easternmost regions, easternmost easternmost regions of the Simplemans. If you ever make your way out there, know that you are welcome. Yes. Go with the blessings of the inheritor. Thank you. Cressida, who's been kind of looking lost this entire time. Um, I'm assuming everything's in order, yes? Yes. They have done well. Thank you. And Thousand Bones will head off. Well, um, your reward. Uh, so if I did the calculations correctly... You should be, uh, I should take some money away from you. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a meta joke. That's, uh, that's me, uh, over, over giving you too much wealth, but that's fine. Uh, let's give you guys 150 gold and spick, uh, split that amongst the party here. You guys are a little, little over wealth. So remember, this is a one E converted to two E. I got to do the wealth manually because they don't even give me wealth. So, but you'll be you'll be a happy you'll be happy people for a little bit, and then I'll be I'll be stingy in the future. So Yava Priz, Aiden, there we go. Split that wealth amongst you all. Twenty five GP. We're rich. No. Yes. We're rich. We're rich. Watch room. So, the good news is, at this point in time, you have a little bit of downtime. In fact, um, Chrisida says, "I don't have any tasks for you for now. Um, so feel free to spend that money you earn, rest, relax, and maybe take care of Kaden. He's not looking too good." Yeah, still, as soon as she says that, he like fun. goes down to one knee and like is coughing. Um, Isabel kind of like rush over, put a hand on his shoulder, try and offer him some sort of herbs, even though he probably can't swallow them or eat them. Oh, my dear, we need to get you some bed rest at the very, very minimum. So, since I don't have a map of Isabel's clinic, we're just going to go to the landing screen here for a little bit, all right? Because this is a pretty important thing that we all, we all need to do right now. Because it could decide Caden's fate, to be perfectly blunt. Uh, being perfectly honest here, Caden, you are pretty close to dying. <clears throat> um, Like, two failures away from dying. Um, Isabel, you take Caden to the clinic. I'm assuming other people follow as well. Yes? Mm-hmm. Um, Isabel, your clinic... Uh, we can We can set that up next week a little bit better yes, but yeah. for yeah, now yeah, next week a little bit uh, it's it's kind of just like a small kind of it's almost like a, a just a normal kind of dwelling there's clearly like a bit of like a surgery almost in the front uh with a little bit of a partition where there's clearly a living area in the back and it's only a single story but there's you know there's enough space to work and there's just ointments and remedies and lots of different kind of plant life flora fungi all just hanging from the walls, lots of different books and, uh, yeah, just general kind of what you might expect, maybe from an alchemy lab, if everything's kind of similar, but just lots of, just, yeah, more seems more like a natural kind of herbalist than any kind of modern take on medicine. As you lay um, Caden well, on the bed. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Welcome, everyone. I was, sorry, I was kind of hoping... You would be here under happier circumstances. It's it's not much, but it it helps people from from time to time. If you want to put your friend down on on the bed, there we can we can try and treat whatever this is. That's well, what's uh, what's slowly eating away at him. Um. So, Isabel, do you attempt to treat uh, disease effectively for eight hours today? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So this is how it's going to happen. Um, this is going to be a bit of a time flowy thing because whilst I know you're all worried about Caden, I don't know if you'd be spending the eight hours there. You can go shopping. You can do, uh, you can go around town, do check on your own things. I'm just going to be focusing on Isabel 
if she's willing to help and Caden for the next two or three days, and then we can retcon the next the last two or mm-hmm. three days for the other players. Isabel, for the first day, I need a DC nineteen medicine check, please. Attempting to. No. Okay. Do I get the circumstance bonus from the plagues, diseases, and other things book, or? Ah, uh, you certainly can. You get a plus one. You reference the book. It helps you uh, make a concoction, maybe. Um, give it a yeah. Shot. She's kind of just busy running around, kind of looking for herbs and ointments and quick dust. Oh, I think I've got some of that here. That, that might be. Hmm, I've not, never thought of that before. This book is fantastic. Solid, Caden. Uh, uh, you get a plus two circumstance bonus at the end of the day to hit this button at a bonus circumstance plus two this might take a while because you can fail and succeed and fail and succeed but mm. uh let me add the hold on day one treat disease actually let me add the treat disease uh success effect on you and then there you go now click on that button Caden and and it should give you the automatic bonus there for the fortitude. Plus one? It should be a plus two. Constitution, expert, treat disease, sickness. Uh, constitution, expert, yeah, everything should be fine. Go ahead and give that a shot there. Treat That's disease gave it a critical success going from stage three. I'll click on this. From sickened and slow to stage one. I'm going to do the stage one to stage two or stage zero immediately afterwards. All right. Because it's only a few hours. So you feel a lot better with uh, Isabel's help, Caden. And then I need one last fortitude save here. Uh, I think treat disease. Is it for the next? uh, uh, You can't. It gets. You don't have the circumstance bonus Mm -hmm. anymore. So give that a shot there, Caden. Hold on. Hold on. Can I? Can I? So presumably we're out in doing things. Mm Mm-hmm. We uh, can I do? Can I roll like a a luck check to see if Priz checks back in and sees that he's like eating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, you could. I mean, you don't necessarily. I'm assuming you check it on Caden every once in a while, right? So you can just check it on him. That's fine. Because if 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 she sees that, uh, knowing that you know, like looking at at uh, Isabel, is he? Is he cured? He's not fully out of the woods yet, Priz, but he's certainly pulling through much stronger than, well, and she'll lower her voice just so Caden can't hear what I was initially thinking. It was spreading fast, but, well, then she'll look at the book that's kind of open. There's like little bits of herbs and kind of just a pestle and that and bits all around. It's, well, that book was one hell of a find at the right time. Very fortunate. Well, here, if you're feeling up to it, this might help. And uh, I'll hand the one lesser elixir of life. So if you take that and time it right, that is a, a plus one item bonus against disease. I will disease. say I need a medicine check from Isabel to make sure you time it correctly. So that's when the disease flares up, you can take that elixir around that time. That would that would be like kind of the, the deal I would have. Because it's, it's, it's anywhere between one to four hours. Could happen any time. I would like a medicine check from Isabel. That is not good enough, Isabel. Yes, okay. yeah, I know. I know. Well, let's reroll. There that. we go. Perfect. You time that it do. perfectly. Caden, I'm going to give you... Uh, go ahead and drink the Elixir of Life for me, Caden. Uh, and add that bonus to yourself here. It's going to ha- it's gonna add a bit of a... Uh, I'll grab I, I got. I put the effect on you here, Caden. Uh, in addition... Uh, Isabel, with that nat 20 medicine check, you can help Caden a little bit. I'm going to give him a plus one circumstance bonus as well for this nice. last saving nice. throw. So, yeah, Caden- I think she's there kind of just like hand on his back, kind of mopping his brow, kind of slowly kind of pouring the elixir, making sure he's not coughing any up. Kind of like wiping his mouth around the sides, just trying to help him through the last little bit. Caden, people have floating hero points as well, so hopefully you don't fuck this one up. Click on that fortitude save, Caden. Add a plus one circumstance bonus when it pops up there, and roll the dice for me, please. Oh, 
Mm. You can have you can have one of my Yava, hero points. you're around as well. How do you help Caden? Oh geez. Uh what is she gonna do? She's just gonna kind of blindly grab like a jar of like peppermint uh oil and she's gonna bring it up to his nose so that it that wave of nausea mm. will will go back down and he can keep the elixir back down. Excellent. Uh subtract the hero point manually, Yava. Caden. Uh, I don't think reroll and keep the new result works anymore for some reason, so I need you to hit that fortitude button again with that circumstance bonus there. Yeah. Well done. Hayden, after a day of being treated at the infirmary with Isabel's care and Priz and Yava's assistance, you are out of the woods and you are no longer have filth fever on you. Well done. And Ooh. that's where we'll probably call the Ooh. session. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> go ahead. Well, um, I assume like everyone's gonna kind of gather around, mm -hmm. um, for the news. He's um, he's looking much better. He's still a little bit weak and uh, might need a day or two to recover his strength. Properly get some food in him, some nutrients, but he uh, he's pulled through. The worst of it is certainly over. Kaden, do you have anything to say at this moment? I think he's going to be passed out and recovering. Like he's had a lot of toll on his body. That so that good post post out. flu sleep, the twelve hour like ah, I'm done with this. <laughs> Dead to the world. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Uh, and Kaden, congratulations! You're no, you're not going to die from a disease. I know a player who's died from three diseases this far, so far. Is that Chris? Chris, yes. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> of course it's Chris. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you guys for today. Uh, we're going to... I need you guys to set up a shopping list here for what you guys want to buy for next session. I need you guys to figure out what you want to do for a week or two weeks of downtime. All right? And we're done with book one of... Curse of the Crimson Throne. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. Nice. Nice. So, no level up yet. I know I promised no level up, and I will maintain that promise of no uh... level up. So uh, we'll level up soon enough. Uh, be excited for next chapter, or next book, whatever you want to call it. You're going to just go around town looking for Jess. Like, how are you going to find him? <laughs> oh, yeah, you know where to find him. Maybe you know where to find him. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll figure this out next week. Um, guys, I need to do, to do uh, buying and selling stuff two um, weeks. Of can, we, can we load all of the stuff that we're going to sell into the party stash so that we can just sort of like deal with it that way stick, like, it, stick it and sell me guys stick it and sell me there you go there's a sell me loot box wait there. how do you bring that up again oh the, oh right uh, there party stash, you hit p but if, if we're putting it in sell okay. me, we'll... put it in sell me it makes it easier for me so stick it and sell me um while we do that i'll stop recording thank you for watching get your like and subscribe bye